Hey, Genetic Journal. So, I got a tooth out, so I might talk a little funny. But we're here on the Motovox, and remember last time I was like, uh, it's running good, but it needs a little carb work. It, it needs a little bit of something with the jet on the carb. We're still kind of fine-tuning fine that, but we'll get it. We'll get it. But it, it still runs, so that's cool. Okay, cruise is nice and all that. Yeah, yeah. So as you saw, it's not as good as I want. It's really... It, it could have better top end, let's put it that way. So today, I'm gonna to try to fix that. I got some parts, we're gonna go into what's involved. We're gonna to try to get that car running good, get the top end where I want. So uh, Scott got the, uh, what'd you get, you got the? I got an official OEM Briggs new jet, so. JDM. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's GTG, right? And then also you got the uh, little tiny drill bits, huh? Yeah, a little drill bit set from Amazon, and it comes with all these little guys, but they're not really labeled, so we got the micrometer to measure what we're actually drilling with. And um, I also got a new gasket for the air filter because that doesn't have anything right now. Those are all actual Briggs. See, that's the thing for these people in the uh, in the Briggs in the uh, Honda Cologne world is when you're running a Briggs, you actually have to get real Briggs parts. You can't yep. just get uh, the Chinese uh, knockoff stuff because it pretty much doesn't exist. Genuine. High right. quality on off valve right there. Yeah, High just, quality. Can, just use the channel locks, uh, vice grips. All right, so uh, with the fuel shut off, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the uh, the bowl right off. It's one thing the the uh, jet is actually like is actually like the nut that keeps the bowl on. It's all in one, so it seems like a pretty good setup, I guess. You getting the shot? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's working pretty good. Yep, it's leaking a little bit, but that's going to happen. All right, so yeah, the bowl would, would actually come right off if I tapped it, but I guess the gasket is all that's keeping it on, so... Oh, there it goes. All right, so you can see the jet on the right is the new one, the old blackened one is the old one. Um, the old one was drilled out to 40 thousandths, and the new one is 30, 20... 27. About 27, so you can see the difference, the visualization. So the 27's too, uh, too lean, and the, and the um, 40's too rich. So we're going to try to cut it somewhere in the middle, um, or what were we going to do? Try the 27 first? Or? Yeah, we're going to put the new jet in, and then uh, we'll see how that goes just with a brand new jet with no potential clogs or other issues. And we'll see how that runs. It'll probably be a little too lean like it was before, and then so we'll, we'll work but, it out. Yeah, we'll get an indication too if that's too lean with the 27. If we uh, choke it off a little bit and it seems to, to come to life a little bit with some choke, then we know we can uh, open up the fuel some more. So that should be approximately uh, way too much, but we'll make it work. It does the job. All right, we're just gonna take this excess down with a file. I don't know what type of file this is. It's a bastard. Yeah, is it? I think the bastards are only the like rounded ones, right? No, I think they're they're the double-edged, double-edged flat. I, I, I don't know. All right, so this is the resoldered jet. I mean, by no means is it stock anymore, and it's hard to focus on. But you can see the solder has filled the hole, and we have filed it down flush. All right, we got kind of tight quarters of the shot here, so doing what we can. This is a thirty. What is this? A thirty or the thirty-three? It's a thirty. It's a thirty thousand. So what this is is this is the one that we. Oh, this is the one that we, that's not focusing. This is the one that we had before, and we drilled it out. We drilled it out to a 40, so, you know, I was taking what I knew about the um, the Honda clones, but these must be a different, something must be different about them, because it seems like we're drilling them out quite a bit smaller. Look at the form we got going on here. That's technique right there. Foot placement, parallel offset foot, about 18 inches spread. <laughs> Shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. Yeah. He's got the stance. Alright, so we got it drilled out. Let's see what we got. 30 thousandths? Yeah. See if I can get a zoom in on this. Yeah. It's the 30. 30 thousandths. Yep, and this is the old one we already had, so we got the spare if something goes wrong with it. Yep. We're gonna put it on and see what it does. Alright. Sweet. Yeah, so I don't know, it seems to have enough power. It's picking the rear tire right up off the ground. I ran it around a little bit, just like back and forth in the driveway, but it's totally dark out. So um, 
Yeah, once it's light out, we're going to hit this thing, uh, do some top speed runs to uh, see how it runs with a sustained full throttle. Yeah, we'll see what the top end looks like. Big things going on in the Janik Journal Proving Grounds. We're, it seems like we're getting just more trucks and junk each day. This is my favorite right here. running pretty good uh, full throttle is nice low ends actually where it's starting to bog down a little bit but it has a good transition to take off so I'm pretty happy with the motor as it is all right guys so Scott's bikes going pretty good uh, mine seems to be running all right I just yeah, I'm tweaking the idle a little bit but um yeah beautiful day out here so we're probably gonna do some riding after this now that we got the bikes tuned in but um that'll do it for another episode of the Janik journal catch you guys next time